So today we're going to try to put together this animated scary witch made by the Gothic Collection. This is an item that I purchased from the at-home store at the end of Halloween last year. I got it on clearance. It retailed for $90. I paid at 75% off, right about, what, $22.50? Um, so I love any sort of large figure that I can put somewhere, even if I don't like the animatronic, which... I don't know. I don't know how this is going to turn out. It is a company I'm not familiar with. Um, so, you know, 20 bucks, I'm willing to gamble on it. But the Gothic Collection, I only did a cursory look online for them. I didn't see too much information. So um, I don't know if they're a big company or not, but my guess is no. Um, the product comes in this white cardboard box um, with a sticker just taped on the front, same sticker taped on the back. Um, it is just a picture of the animated witch here. It says in the description that the head turns side to side. Um, it lights up, has light up eyes, witch sounds, five feet tall, posable arms, and a stand included. It also seems to be holding some sort of long stick or staff, which I'm guessing is not included in this little box. But let's go ahead and open it and find out. Grab here scissors from my friend. And... We'll pop it open. All right. Let's see what is inside. Okay. Here we go. It looks like... Oh, it does come with that staff. I guess you'd call it a staff. But I don't really know. If you know what it's called, let me know in the comments below. And the witch, she just appears to be in one piece, so that's good. A stand. And some instructions. All right, let's just go ahead and place this down here. Pop open the stand. This seems like it is um, relatively the same as the other sort of um, stand-up figures you might purchase. All right, kind of like a Christmas tree stand. They're all rubber banded together. Pop that off. Let's just slip these on here. Again, if you know anything about the Halloween collection or if you have other products by them, let me know. Oh shoot, I put that on upside down. Um, let me know what you think of them. It seems like it is a pretty neat item here. She definitely looks creepy in the picture. So I guess we're going to find out here in a moment. I also love all the products pretty much that I get from the at-home store. They seem to have very good Halloween products and good deals. All right, so we have some connector pieces for the stand, which just pop together, it looks like. Connector piece. All right, it looks like it's pretty tall. So here's my witch. Again, she looks pretty uh, gruesome. Posable arms. Dress just sort of falls open there. Let me push that box out of the way. And I guess, let's see. Put my hand up her skirt. Let's flip her over. All right, inside. Oh, I forgot. I guess we're going to have to put in the batteries, too. So let's see if we can find that here. It's got a lot of layers. All right. I think I am not in the right spot. There we go. There we go. So it's got a motor in here. Um, lots of exposed wires. Um, that concerns me a little bit that it's not enclosed somehow and that they're going to snag and catch on something. All right, where is battery? Oh, here we go. All right. This says, pull me, pull that out. Um, it looks, I don't know if it comes with batteries. Get my screwdriver here. We'll unscrew this compartment. You know, this is, I hate these screws. All right, almost got it. All 
All right, there we go. Oh, it does come with batteries. I guess I should have tested it first. Hopefully these batteries work. I guess we'll find out here in a moment. Turn it to on. All right, I'm just gonna turn that back off real quick because I don't want it trying to move somehow while we're putting it on the stand. It just slides right on there. And sorry for the change of camera shot. Um, I finished up the video. I went to look at it and realized that I had cut off the top of her head in the video. So you're not gonna get my initial reactions and I can't quite remember all I babbled about, but basically um, what I found going through the motions here is, you know, she's a very cool prop. She's, you know, got a lot of um, nice detail to her. You can make out her fingernails on her hands. You know, her, her mouth is pretty gruesome. It looks like her teeth don't make sense because they all kind of point upwards, but I don't know if that's, oh, I guess it's her gums, but it kind of looks like a tongue sticking out beneath the teeth. The mouth itself just looks a little weird. Um, but, you know, she's got a lot of wrinkles. It's a pretty cool mask. This is supposed to be her hair, I guess, and it's kind of a paper material. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and, uh, you know, that's not going to be good for outside at all. Um, in fact, I checked the box, and it does say um, that it is not intended for wet areas, so I guess it's just going to be an indoor prop. I'm probably going to put it, you know, I, I do a witch themed foyer every year so she'll just stay inside i might put her in the kitchen um which is in the kitchen's go well i think so we'll see who knows um i like her staff you know it's posable it's bendable her whole body you know you can pose it however you want well not her whole body her arms the staff um so let's go ahead and flip her on but it's a disappointment we can't put her outside. You know, if she does go outside, it'd be one of those props that you put out on the morning of Halloween um, and then take her in at night after the trick-or-treaters leave. And I don't like doing that. Um, I like to be able to set things up at least a few days in advance. Otherwise, Halloween just gets way too hectic. But enough about that. Let's go ahead and flip her on. So... You're not going in there, are you? I'd turn back if I were you, or I'd go back if I were you. I've listened to that phrase several times and I still can't understand it. And it is not motion activated at all. It is just sound activated. <laughs> Beware with some cackling. Um, there is a step here pad. It wasn't advertised. All right, leave her on. I miss. I'm assuming that was a voice activated response because I tried using the step here pad and it's just not working. Um, it might be that the cord, all right, I'm gonna turn her off. All right, um, you know what, I'll give you a quick view of the back side of her real quick. So she's got some flowing robes here. Um, there are multiple layers to her outfit, so that's kind of neat. Um, it's, you know, an old witch's robe. And we can lift this up. You can see the mechanism that turns her body. Um, Let's find where this cord goes. All right. It seems to twist around. Okay, I'm just gonna follow the cord up. All right. Yeah, I mean, it seems to be plugged in. So I'm not sure why it doesn't work. Again, maybe with those wires, something didn't get connected right, which is a shame. Ah, it worked. Well. Maybe it just needed a little tightening. Let's put her down. 
down. Flip her back around here. Well, that's kind of creepy too with a veil. Um, these robes get everywhere and they're a little hard to untangle, but uh, I think we got it. There we go. So let's try this again. Hopefully it works. some close-ups of the witch so you can get a better look at her. One thing I did want to just point out is that you cannot use the sound activation with the foot pad. The switch is either one or the other. I thought it was off and on but I guess it is foot pad or sound activated. But there she is. I love the step here pads because they kind of allow you that control. Um, with the sound, you never know when it's gonna go off, but with the step here pad, you know, you can hide it under a doormat or a rug or something. So if I leave her in the foyer, I'll probably tuck this right under the rug right in front of the door. So when someone walks in, I was all set to be disappointed that that didn't work, but now that I got it working, I actually kind of like this a lot. I think she's pretty cool looking. She's very spooky. Um, there we go, turned her off. Um, step pad's gonna make it very functional. And, well, you know, again, it's a little disappointing. She can't go outside, but she probably can, you know, if it's not gonna be raining, got to check the forecast, who knows. Um, doesn't come with any sort of stakes to keep her, um, you know, upright i find with these sort of christmas tree stands you know you have to have a level surface my whole yard is hills so that always um, presents a problem i usually end up taking a rock or you know, you could use a brick or something and just weight down the one end so that she doesn't tip over unless a great wind comes and then she tips backwards but yeah can only do so much um, but with her i guess i'm gonna like to do something um, she is very cool. I'm pretty pretty happy with her, especially for 20 bucks. I think it's a steal. Um, don't know if, hey, you could use that as a veil. <laughs> I don't know. Um, play with her, make her pretty. As pretty as she can be for a witch. Um, so again, if you're interested in this product, you can find it online, perhaps. I got her at the at-home store. They might, she might have, uh, they might have her back this year. If not, you can Google um, the Gothic collection. If I find any links to their products or this witch, I'll go ahead and list it um, in the description of the video. And otherwise, you know, I'm going to be unboxing a few more of these fun props I got last year and um, do some more DIY projects here before Halloween. So if you want to follow along, go ahead and give me a subscribe and I'll see you around. Happy haunting.